In today's show, we have more information on bank applications. More information about a senior signing. And the conclusion to inspire your heart with Art Day. I'm Aaron. And I'm Morgan, and you're watching SBTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Seniors, if you've received a scholarship, stop by the counselor's office and let Ms. Conley know. Any sophomore or junior who has not updated their operating system before March 5th will be locked out of their laptop. The SHS Bank is currently taking applications. Here's Allie with more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alexis Desch to talk about the bank application process for sophomores. So what do they need to fill out? There is a form you have to fill out, you can pick up in the bank. It asks you who your current teachers are, what your grades are in the class, and you just have to get their signature. Okay, awesome. So what comes after this application process? Once you fill out the application, you will go through an interview process, which is with all the seniors that are currently in the bank and the sponsor, Mr. Hoffman's. It's not an intimidating interview, it's more just to say you did it. You get asked about like your favorite type of music, if you've gone to the bank before, just simple questions like that. Awesome. These applications are due on Wednesday, so make sure and turn those in. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to apply if you're interested. If you like to draw, plan to join like-minded artists tomorrow in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. That's all we have for our announcements. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. April 4th is Auxiliary Band Dance Tryouts. If you have any questions, talk to Mrs. Hurt in W3. Spring sports started today, but our boys basketball team will be playing at KC Sumner tonight starting at 6 p.m. Our girls basketball team will be playing on Wednesday, and if the girls win on Wednesday, they'll be hosting again on Saturday. Both our boys and girls bowling teams qualified for the state bowling tournament, and that is on, in Wichita on Friday. We have been able to see our seniors shine after each sport this year, but here's Skylar Price that is signed to Ottawa University. Skylar Price's college signing was on Friday during seminar. Um, I chose Ottawa over MNU because it was a smaller school, so the class sizes are really what's going to get to me about being there as a school. Um, playing soccer at Ottawa, I think it's going to be the coaching staff. Um, they're pretty much the same people, morals and values wise, as my coaches before this, so I'm really going to enjoy that. Skyler has played four years of soccer at Seaman High School. Um, coaching Skyler was a lot of fun. Um, kids who play with a lot of emotion bring a lot of energy with them, um, and that's what Skyler brought to the team. So it was really nice because I didn't have to try to supplement that all the time. He brought that for us. Um, the biggest thing we had to do was make sure he kept it under control so he didn't go over energetic on everybody. <laughs> uh, my favorite memory about high school soccer, probably, um, I think my junior year, Nathan Bertrand stepped on a cone and he broke it and he was out for a couple games for it. Skylar is kind, loving, and very determined. We are truly proud of the young man that he has become and we are proud of all of his accomplishments on and off the pitch. Skylar Price will pursue a degree in sports management. See Skyler, be sure to congratulate him. We all saw it warm up this past weekend, but are those warm temperatures going to stay? Now over to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. All the rain has officially moved out of the area, and we now have clear skies with very sunny weather. By the time we get out of school today, our temperatures will be a little chilly compared to yesterday afternoon, but we do have a couple of events to be looking forward to. Spring is almost here, but unfortunately this also means that daylight savings is even closer. As you can see, by Tuesday we'll be warming back up into the mid-60s, and these nice temperatures will continue into this week and this weekend. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, so with that awesome weather report. Hey, Morgie, did you know today was National Banana Cream Pie Day? No, I didn't. 
Well, if you might remember, Mr. Bach and Mr. McAllister painted a picture. Now they're back with a punishment. On January 31st was National Inspire Your Heart with Art Day. We had Mr. McAllister and Mr. Bach paint a picture. And the worst artist would have to be face painted for a punishment. After you voted on Twitter, it was determined that box painting was the best picture. Now here's the punishment. I am painting Mr. McAllister's face because he's a loser. I'm gonna paint you like one of my French girls. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> Keep still. <laughs> oh my god. C I Oh whoops, wrong color. Yeah, it would be helpful if you K E And then, of course, because you're kind of a cheerleader plus football, you gotta get the eye black on there. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Your skin. Do you do you moisturize? I do every night. I put a mask on, cucumbers. Of course you you I've always wanted to see you with a beard. Oh, I'm sure everybody does. Stand by your man. Oh, it's so stubbly. Should I go on the mustache? Probably not. Get a little soul patch though. You look like Robert Downey Jr. I feel like Robert Downey Jr. I am Boxite Man. Oh, do I have paint on my face? <laughs> yeah. Is it, where is it? Is it just like, there's a little spot? I'm like, yeah, okay. Ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, whoops. Okay. I can't breathe. Yeah, actually, Don't you think yeah, you look yeah. really rugged with a beard? Dude, Paul Bunyan style with the beard. Yeah. yeah. And actually, this no, looks that, horrible. That looks like uh, the cat from... Uh, cat. It's funny because we the painted cat, a cat. Alice in Wonderland. We painted a like cat the, last time. The, Cheshire the, cat. The cat. Yes. Yeah. Cat. It looks good. What was the purpose of Who knows? I lost. He lost something about a month ago, two months ago. And now back to your anchors. Honestly, I think Mr. McAllister had a better painting. Well, I disagree, but that's all we have for today, Mikes. Tomorrow we'll have more on Drayton Foster signing and new TikTok dances. Have a great rest of your day.